When Sparks Fly, the true story of Robert Goddard, the father of U.S. rocketry. Written by Kristen Fulton. Illustrated by Diego Funk. On a cool October morning in 1882, the tiny town of Worcester, Massachusetts got a new neighbor. He was small and pale, but his eyes flashed with a spark of curiosity and discovery. His name was Robert Goddard. When Robert was three years old, he learned that he could make static electricity. He dragged his stocking-covered feet across the carpet. The tiny jolt of shock ignited his curiosity. When it was time to start school, Robert was too sick to go. Many days, he found it hard to catch his breath. His lungs felt tight and with every breath he took, he whistled. The doctor called it wheezing. His parents wanted him to learn, so they gave him a cardboard box full of science equipment. He even got a subscription to Scientific American magazine. Every day, Robert journaled about his experiments, and every week, a new magazine arrived full of the latest discoveries. Robert wanted one of those inventions to be his. In one issue, Robert read about diamonds. He learned they were made from hardened carbon. The dozens of pencils lining his desk caught Robert's eyes as he read. If pencils were full of graphite and graphite was made from carbon, could Robert make diamonds from pencils? Robert grabbed his science kit, broke open each pencil, and scraped out the graphite. He emptied a small vial of hydrogen into a pan and added the slivers of graphite. He twisted the knob on the oxygen tank he used for breathing, and a flame flickered under the pan. The graphite grew hotter and brighter and bigger. Boom! Robert hustled to his desk and scribbled in his journal. Hydrogen and oxygen, when combined near a flame, will ignite. His experiment didn't make diamonds, but it wasn't a failure. He learned something. Explosive! As Robert grew, so did his curiosity. One day, Robert climbed his favorite tree to read his favorite book, The War of the Worlds, by H.G. Wells. Within the first few pages, he was lost in a world full of Martians and aliens flying to Earth in giant spaceships. Robert wondered if he could build something that would soar to space. The next morning, Robert ordered fireworks from China, signal flares from Germany, and flaming arrows from England. When the boxes arrived, he had one burning question. What made these small rockets soar? He traced their shapes, he examined each fuse, and dissected all the explosive ingredients. Robert researched, designed, and tinkered. His first rocket was ready to go. Robert walked to the meadow behind his house and set up for his first launch. After tying a high-flying balloon powered by solar energy to his rocket, Robert watched it lift off. Would this work? Pop! It fell from the sky. Robert headed back to work. Month after month, he crafted, he built, he finished rocket number two. The new rocket was shaped like a cylinder with a pointed nozzle. He filled it with gunpowder and lit the fuse. Would this work? Bam! It exploded! Determined to figure it out, Robert sat down at his drawing board. 
He drafted, he framed, he completed his third rocket. This rocket was shaped like a triangle with fins. He used gasoline to make it fly. Bang! It crashed and burned. Year after year, rocket after rocket, Robert wrote in his journal, cylinder shapes work best. Gunpowder burns too fast. Fins help stability. And each failure taught Robert something new. Each failure brought him closer to his dream of soaring to space. Still, none of his rockets flew the way he wanted. Something was missing. Robert leafed through the pages of his old journals. There it was. In his very first journal was the diamond explosion entry and the mistake he made from combining hydrogen, oxygen, and a flame. Robert had a whole new idea for rocket number four. On March 16, 1926, a cold day, Robert's newly built rocket was positioned in the meadow. He held the release cord. A blowtorch ignited the long fuse that trailed from the rocket, which was full of hydrogen and oxygen. The fuse burned. The rocket rumbled. A bright white flame shot from the bottom of the rocket. The cord released. The rocket soared. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Robert's extension rocket research launched the way for every shuttle that has blasted into space. Every astronaut who has defied gravity and every man who has walked on the moon. All because of a curious boy who discovered how to let sparks fly.